All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you a super, super cool magic trick that you can use when you go back to school using, you know, a quarter or, you know, any coin that you can find. In this case, I actually have this British two pound coin um, that I found in my drawer. And what you can end up doing is you, after a couple tries or so, um, what I like to do is this, you know, you can stick a pencil in this case, you know, you'll be, you'll be back at school. And what you can end up doing is what I like to call, it's called finding the sweet spot. And you guys, you can do this with, with any coin and you stick your pencil or whatever you have directly through the center, okay? As long as you press hard enough and in the right spot, you're going to be able to stick that pencil straight through the coin with no problem at all, okay? And then as soon as you get it out, you can go back, you can show the spectators, look, it's just an average ordinary coin. And uh, that is the trick, guys. So if you want to do it, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so um, in the video, I kind of had it a little bit close up so you guys could see. But essentially, um, this coin's actually built for a cigarette. But I don't really want to promote that on the channel. So I took a pencil. And you can kind of get the same, um, the same idea with it. As long as you show your spectators from a little bit of a distance and you apply some pressure to the on top portion here. So if you show the spectators from this angle kind of apply pressure upward so there's not as many as many gaps. Here I want to go ahead and uh, focus the camera there but essentially you can actually you see there's some gaps here between the pencil and the coin so I'll get into this essentially this is actually a gimmick coin so you can't do this with any coin but if you don't want to do a sight a slight to your spectator um, uh, first of all I'll leave a link in the description box to where you guys can actually get one of these if you want to support the channel um, so in this case, it's going to take you over to Easy Magic and George has helped me out plentiful with the channel. So if you guys want to thank me and CC George, you can go and get yourself one of these. And they work really well, as you can see, um, you know, as you can see from the video, I'll just teach you guys a couple of tips and tricks to make it look like it's more realistic to, uh, to your spectator. Okay, so let's hypothetically say you've got one. Uh, essentially what you do is you can come up with any pattern that you want. Obviously, this isn't a quarter, so it's not like you're going to be able to do some sort of uh, some sort of switch you know with like a with, you know with the spectators quarter unless you live in England but essentially what you can do is say look you know I found this coin um, I found this coin anywhere you know no, no one's necessarily gonna ask you but essentially what you do is you take this and there's just a little hole cut out in the middle of the coin just like this so on one end you stick it through and on the other end the back has a flap that goes like that and it opens up so that's pretty self-explanatory. The only uh, things I want to give you guys are some quick tips about this. So when you're doing this to a spectator, you can have your fingers kind of curled around the other edge of the coin. So obviously when you're showing your spectators from here, it's probably better to have the spectator on the other end of your hand. So if you're showing the trick, you want them to see this front part. You can have them see pencil goes straight through the coin, and then you can move your hand over a little bit and that way they can see, you know, as long as you're covering up that flat part and if they're, you know, on the other receiving end, they're not going to be able to see it. You just don't want to flash this to the spectators. You don't want them to see that, you know, that flap that's opening. So as long as you have a good grip on where that's at, it's a pretty, pretty easy move. And like I said, guys, it works better with cigarettes. You won't have this open space that you can kind of see between the pencil and the coin. But a pencil works just as great as long as you can keep, um, as long as you can keep an eye on those angles. And the last thing you want to be careful for is when you're actually taking the pencil out. You don't necessarily want to take the, this pencil out and then have the spectators catch a flash at the at the trap door mechanism. So if you put it through, sometimes they can see it. So what I like to do is tilt the coin a little bit away from them and have my fingers covering the the back door so as i kind of take the as i kind of take the pencil out i move it down to around this level so they can't see the door shut and then i close up the coin because there is a little thing you have to click here and then it'll be completely shut and then it will look very very realistic to any spectator so that's just little stuff like that you know as the coin comes back very simply, you put it down here at eye level and you kind of cover up the flap door. And you want to make that as inconspicuous, that might be a little bit annoying, but if you're just doing it as you're talking, um, no one's really going to catch, catch a glimpse of that. So 
I hope you guys really enjoy this trick. I'm going to be back with more videos soon. Um, but for now, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.